Hi, this is Peter Dines from ReactorTips.com, and today we're going to look at how to add samples to my frame sampler for Reactor. First thing uh, we do is load up frame, and in the um, instrument properties palette here, we'll go over to disks and make sure we're in a directory that has the samples we want to load. Um, then we'll put Reactor in edit mode, and we'll click this to open the sample map editor. Um, first, let's take a look at how the existing samples are arranged in the sample map. There's one sample per key, so on uh, each sample, the low and high note is set to the same thing, and the um, root note is set to the same thing as well. Um, it's very important when you're uh, when you're loading samples into frame to have move root with low note selected in this drop down so that um, when, if we move a sample around the uh, root note will change with the samples location so I'll just put that back where it was and I will grab another sample whoops that was set to autoplay um, so I've added that in the next slot up, so it's uh, sample number five, actually six because we started at zero. Um, it's a computer thing. So we've got left, uh, sorry, low and high note set to zero, and the root note is set to five. That's perfect. So I will close the sample map editor, and we could also... Uh, exit edit mode if we wanted at this point. Um, so I'll click the sample select knob to go up to five and here's where our sample got added. I'll turn up the gain a bit and we'll play a few notes. <laughs> Another quick thing uh, in the uh, sample map editor, um, if you toggle this check mark and put a check in there, um, when you save the ensemble, Reactor will save it with this new sample embedded in the sample map so everything gets uh, kept together. However, if, um, if you have limited disk space or you're working with a lot of different samples and you're not going to be distributing the ensemble, you might want to keep that unticked because that way every time you save the ensemble, um, it's smaller. It doesn't have the samples embedded in it. So that's the, uh, that's the basics of how to add samples to frame and pretty much the same uh, procedure applies to loop 2, which is um, Frame's bigger brother, which, uh, which has features like um, memory for, uh, uh, that associates pitches and sample areas to different notes on the keyboard. So it works a little more like a sample slicer. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video today, and I hope you learned something about adding samples to reactor sample maps. This is Peter Dines for reactortips.com. Thanks for watching.